Bastards enough. <laughs> Are you calling your customers ugly? I'm calling myself ugly. Ah. OK. Right then, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I've just been rewiring all those balls. Hang on. OK, apart from the, obviously, why, why does it need rewiring? Why does it need rewiring? What, what, what was the initial... It didn't need rewinding, it's wiring at all. You just said you've been rewiring all those I have rewired it completely. OK. So it didn't need rewiring? Didn't need rewiring. No, he's had a new uh, this on. All these new. He's had everything new. New uh, pickups. Are they capacitors? Yeah. They look pretty big. They're weird, aren't they? Yeah, I like they that. Look like, they look like it's big X. resistors. Or oh, whatever they are. Eh? There's not much wiring going on in there, is it? It looks quite simple. Well, it's all been done. No, it I mean, was pre-wired. It came pre-wired. I was just had to rewire. Yeah, but I mean, normally those uh, a bit of a, 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 a snake, snake pit, isn't it? Of wires. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. It's quite yeah. neat, isn't it? Though? Yeah. Uh, Except my soldering iron went down, so I've had to use an underpowered soldering iron. I was going to say, it looks like you've used a bloody. Uh, uh, I have. Some butter and knife. Butter and I have, I've had to, I've had no knife. choice because it was, there was a wiring problem with it, a defect, so I had to take everything back off. And now my soldering iron's broken, I don't know why. Broken. It's that, just gone mental. I'll be honest with you, that's probably some of the worst soldering I've seen for years. Oh, for God's sake. Well, get your camera out of it then, because I haven't finished it. <laughs> and fuck off. <laughs> I, I'm absolutely uh, fed up with this guitar. Yeah. I've had it part three times. <laughs> Do you want me to sold it for you? you no, know, you can't get it any better than that, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's uh, it's tight, nicely tightly done. Well, it's all I say is, I think you still would qualify for a Jim will fix it badge if he was still uh, alive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. So what, anyway, yeah. So what else have you done to that then? Is I've you... done the frets and. Uh... No, so... this doesn't fit. No, it does. I quite like those magnetic uh, back plates that people do. Mm, I'm not certain about that. Well, well, you just like put your nail in it and flick it out. Oh, yeah, good. No uh, screwing of it because okay. I don't know about you, but the, I mean, I, I either never put the back back on or just have one screw holding it on. I can't be arsed to screw, yeah. screw it back on. Oh, you mean the all right because for you because you're big idle. Yeah. Well, well, for a start, you shouldn't be messing inside your guitars. Well, how many people actually have the um, the plate on the back of the tremolo springs? Nobody. What are you doing messing in the guitar anyway? I can. I am reasonably competent to some degree on a guitar, you know. Uh, n well, yeah, I should put the word in before that. In. Competent. <laughs> That's spare wiring. Yeah. Oh, it's just the old one here. Yeah. I've got a screw loose. Old. It's old, yeah. Hey. What's this here? Hey. That's what was on it. Oh it's, oh, it's just in some kind of... Oh, okay, okay. Same pots and everything. Oh. What, what was the uh, the player looking for? Sorry? Oh, it's there. Why has he bought the new pots just for like a... I don't know. ...different, different to homage? I don't know. It's, it's probably... Don't do it, Doug. Don't do it. Probably read somewhere that... Uh, they play better if you ask. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's what he's done. I'm a bit tangled up here with everything. I've had the thing on the bench for a couple of days because there was an earth problem. Oh yeah. And it was uh, dying off to earth all the while. Anyway, I'll fix it today. Certainly is an earth problem, Doug. There's yeah. a problem with the earth. Yeah. So what are you looking for? A screw. Um, ah, see, there you go. If it's magnetic. It was magnetic. I stuck them to that magnet. This was one there, look. There's two, two there. there, them are for the headstock. Yeah. It's probably cover. under here. If you left your left the guitar up, it's probably Could be, there. yeah. Could be stuck to the magnets on that, no. I've got some anyway, so I'll, I'll just get one out of my spares. I've got them, but uh, I don't like losing things when they... Unless there wasn't one. See, this is what happens when you run run a bloody bench that's about as tidy as a. Well, I've got so many guitars I'm doing all at the same time. It's getting encroaching on me. I don't know. I don't know. Nil poire. <laughs> uh -uh. It's lovely having somebody like you around. Just trying to instill. Makes a bit... my fucking day. Just trying to instill a bit of humour, Doug. 
humour. That's not humour, that's just sarcasm and vileness of you. Mind you, that's because you are vile. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to turn this guitar over then, or are we going to... Uh, not have the, the, the delight of the uh, fret job? Or whatever hey? done. Are you going to turn the guitar over? No, I'm going to find that screw first. All right then. Well, I'm going to get one out this the, ex, the screw thing I've got over here. I've got millions of screws here for all the makes of guitars and stuff. Millions? Well, you pretty much. Uh, that's that looks like no, it's too big. It's I've million. got all the, got the right, right screws, yeah. but the wrong size heads. Yeah. Just bite one in. Oh, be quiet. Can I ask you something? Yeah. How do you know it came with four screws? I don't. Well, there you go then. I didn't make a note I of it. I guarantee that. the bloke who owns it, or the woman, will never ever check. Yeah? Yeah, okay. For a start, he or she will take the plate off to see what you put in, out yeah. of curiosity. Yeah. And then they'll just put one screw in. Yeah. That's what guitarists do. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty close, but yeah. not it. See, if you, if I've you got thousands of bloody screws in here. Thousands now, is it? And I've got, yes, and I've got Gibson That's ones nice. in here as well, so. In a minute. I'll come across yeah. the right one in a minute. I've got dozens of screws in here. Dozens? I've got fucking millions of the bastards. Yeah. I've I got just, at least ten screws in here. There's the right one, I just can't get it out now. Can't get to it. Do you want me to have a go with my no, extra fingers? No, thank you, I don't want you messing in my screws. No, oh, that's not it. Shame some, it's a shame when somebody won't let somebody help them. Yeah. For the sake of the ego. Yeah, I'm nothing to do with ego. Too long. Yeah, it might That'll be come too. out the front, I will. Don't be stupid, it's too big. Yeah. We need a piece of, we need a sentinel, don't we, to whack, uh, whack out all the screws on it. I don't know, whack them all out on the bench. Oh my god. You're not exactly, you just improved your work. Surface area by about well, two inches. The, by the work the surface area has got to be have a good clean up in a minute. Is that why they're here? These are here. Crack to clean me up. Muck me out. <laughs> Quite enjoyed last night. Yeah. I assume you did. I did. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it lots. I can hear myself on Dave's system. Yeah, yeah. It makes a difference when you're deaf like me. Sorry? Yes, exactly. It makes a massive difference. Yeah, you're right. Are you going to uh, Coppin, what it's called, Wednesday? Coppin Hall, yeah. I was telling that that girl Damien was with, uh, what's yeah. her name, Christina. Yeah. She's obviously now. And she was telling me that a, a gran uh, likes me. I said, well, how does she know? She's had a sent of the video of, you know, one night a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Of us doing it. I said, well, what's your gran? She's 71. I said, she's five years younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Depends what she looks like. She might have been working in a field, working with bloody oxen all her life. And No, she's a professor at the university. Uh, oh, what's your woman? God, God. Most unlikely matching known known to man. Yeah. Unless he's a professor of delinquent humans. Uh, probably. Uh, must be crap for him over there, though, must not it? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, well, you never know when the which bombs are going to hit your bloody apartment or house or anything. It's probably, it? if you think about, like, northeast, it's probably, like, like normal, really, where yeah. none of the rockets reach. It's yeah. probably... Uh, it's almost as though nothing's happening. Yeah, but the people getting killed all the while. Isn't yeah, that's no, not that good, is it? I mean, it's bloody shocking. I mean, I don't even know what Putin's trying to achieve anymore, except he wants to get Ukraine back. He's trying to reform the Soviet Union. I've no idea. It's been a while since I've had a chat with him. He hasn't told me anything about this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's uh, he's empire building, and he wants the Soviet Union back under the. Rule of communism. Possibly. Oh, hang on. Uh, are you off then? I absolutely am. So you're taking that guitar with you, are you? No, just the empty case. Uh. The guitar's actually behind you somewhere. <laughs> I don't know whether he got the, he got the, the, the uh, for some reason he got the, uh, 
the dimensions and you were playing it later. I've got the dimensions, but I've got to swap it all over anyway, haven't I? I've got to swap the... Uh... Oh, yes, there, yeah, yeah. I'll wait for the phone call. It'll be matte, you know that, don't you? It'll be matte now, not shiny. It'll look better than matte. I think your one's matte anyway. Yeah, it'll, 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 whatever it is, probably matte, yeah. Yeah. Satin. It'll stay straight, please. Uh, it'll stay straight, yeah. Yep. There you go, then. All right. Okay, Dave, see you later. Take care of yourself. See you later. Well, I'm going to press stop the screw. Nice. I'll find the right screw. It's getting the right head size, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you might be. I've got them all. No, I've got them all. I've got every known screw to man. Well, you like the screw heads. Oh, there you go. That's it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> See? I knew I'd got the right one. That's the very screw with the raised screw head and everything else. It's not bad, that. It's not bad. No, I know. It's exactly uh, the same. It's not quite the same. It's exactly the same. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's exactly God, the same. you're an awkward bastard, aren't you? Yeah, it is. It's touchy. You know why? Because when he's in his house, he gets, he gets his, everything his way. They say he goes, doesn't like any, uh, doesn't like anybody going against it, does he? He's a twat. What? Dave. <laughs> what? Time to get up today, Doug. Uh, half past 12. Not bad, yeah. No, no. The guy was, uh, Half eleven, quarter past eleven. I have to get up early nowadays for Jess. As she shits the house. So it's half twelve early? It is for me, yeah. yeah. Twelve o'clock, I was up half past eleven yesterday. Bloody hell. I know. It's not good enough. I've got to go and meet a friend of mine down at Eccleshall. He said, uh, eleven o'clock, okay? Well, that's a misnomer, isn't it? A friend of yours. Tonight, you mean? Uh, <laughs> AM. Friend? A good friend of mine, uh, Martin. Friend? Oh yeah, I've got lots of friends. He called you? somebody a friend. Well, what did he call you? <laughs> Very good friends. He used to have a, used to be have a business with my friend Steve, who was a singer. Okay. Who since sold it, but uh, I'm gonna meet him down Exel for a, a drink, coffee, and everything. Lovely guy. Does he say that about you? I have no idea. I wish you get out of the way so we could see the guitar. It's just a guitar, it's a Les Pauli guitar. Yeah, it's not a bad looking guitar. No, it's, it's fine. Quite, quite nice uh, colours. Yes, nice. Nothing wrong with it. Very good. Yep. So, what else is going on, Doug? Um, nothing. <laughs> I've come to. Oh, I've got two, three, three. Uh, what are they called? Yes. ES. SGs? Just Gs, that's it. Jeez. They've just arrived. Oh yeah, wonder, how old are they, wonder? Yes, the modern. Okay. Two years old. Oh yeah. Two years old, yeah. Just need Why would you up. buy? Hey? Yeah. Why would you buy a new SG and take a magnet out the pickup? It's, no, he hasn't taken them out, he's just reversed them. That's what I mean. Oh, yeah. Why would you do it? Because that's what you want. Get a slightly different sound, don't you? I had to face. Um, it on the spectrum, I think. Eh? Hey? Well, it on the spectrum, I think. Customer's always right. Customer's always he right. He likes that uh, Peter Green sound of oh, yeah. the two pickups together like that. You yeah, know. yeah, like the Greeny guitar. The Green guitar, yeah. Greeny, yeah. Which I'm, I'm building at the moment. Oh, yeah. Well, I will do when I get round to it. Apparently, SGs, uh, the earlier ones, uh, sound great. Something about, there's something about. Um, Got like a mid a mid quality about them that really cuts through in the mix yeah. naturally, you know. Mm -hmm. I've never really liked a less, uh, the look of an SG, but I kind of fancy one. Okay. Well, I don't really want one, but like, uh, yeah, I would have one. I'll start building it for you, shall I? Uh, it's free of charge. Hey? Eh? If it's free of charge, I'll go for it. <laughs> Come on, Doug, this time in life, yours, talk about giving back, doing the right thing, making up for all mistakes. Yeah, he's trying to earn enough money for his fucking fuel. <laughs> 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 hey. uh, 
Well, as a famous Japanese philosopher says, he who runs house eating all day is a stupid bastard. <laughs> Um, Here, Doug. Yep. Cheers, you. Well, it goes cold. It'd be an endless supply of cold coffee. She's not careful. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's Well, yeah. There's no point. Need to, we don't need to go into spending, do we? What's that? Spending. I said your your spend on uh, bloody coal and gas. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. That's a silly car at this rate. Probably won't be worth anything, will it? <laughs> it's a I don't think we're going to be in the world of uh, electric cars anytime no. soon. No. Aren't they ridiculous? They're 50,000 quid for a cheap one. They've only got eight year lifespan, haven't they? Because of the batteries. I know you probably hear, it's probably a bit of like negative propaganda, but uh, there's some video on Facebook where some guy, had, uh, he put his bill up for a service. In America, yeah, and it was something like forty grand for the batteries replacements. You know, my mate's just been quoted twenty three for his Merc. M b batteries. What kind of model has he got? It's an estate thing. Like a, you mean like a? So is he scrapped? His SUV kind of thing. No, no, no. It's just like an estate car. Oh, how old is it? Uh, about an eighteen, basically. Oh, yeah, about four or five years old. So the batteries need replacing. Surely they should last more than five years. Well, do you think of how many times you have to? They're only they're only the, they're only the ordinary lithium ion. Yeah, yeah. Well, lithium ion batteries, that even you know, the best will in the world. How long do they last? Rechargeable yeah. batteries, not very long. I, I don't know how many charges, but uh, thousand charges, perhaps. Must be more than that for a for a car, because how, how can they expect? It's all the same. Lithium's lithium, isn't it? Also. If you don't charge, you don't charge and discharge the battery to the to the right spec, it kind of uh, fucks stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you not supposed to charge a battery more than about eighty percent and never let it get below about twenty on you, something like that? I don't know. There's ratios of all this bollocks. Yeah. 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 But I think I think it's be, I think it's beyond the pale idea of what they're charging. Yeah. It's an, 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 no normal person can, will or can afford that. No. I mean, because most people must, I mean, maybe I'm out of touch now, but I bet most people, most people probably spend about five grand on a car, don't they? Yeah, unless you're buying new, obviously. Well, unless you've got a bit, you know, retired, like Doug, millionaire, um, or got a bit of cash where maybe you buy something for like 15, 20, something like that, I don't know. But the average person working, so if you look at most of the cars driving around, they're probably they're probably on finance anyway, aren't they? All these all these, all these nice two-year-old Mercedes and Mercs and everything. Uh, they sign up. BMWs. Yeah, yeah. Well, all the company cars will be leased. Yeah. I bet it makes you wonder what percentage of people actually own their cars outright in the UK. I bet it's about. Well, Dave's got a Tesla, isn't he? Oh, he loves that. He reckons it's great. Yeah, yeah, well they are, they're really fast and everything else. And they're lovely cars, but uh, nonetheless, it's still got lithium ion batteries in it. I did see, I mean he's had that for years. He has had that quite a long time, I did see a post he put on Facebook, it's my ex-boss. And he reckons, because he's got, a, he's got a house in France, yeah. and he can go there, he can go there no problem in one go. It's only, they've only got a 300 mile range haven't they? It's further than 300 miles. Uh, I think it's actually in yeah, the Dordogne or something like that. No, I think it's further than that. I thought it's got a ma ra mile, uh, range of about a thousand miles or kilometres or something. Has it? Yeah. See, somebody put up like how shit electric cars are and he's, he said, uh, well, I've had nothing but a wonderful experience. Oh, that's something then. I'll tell you one thing I've noticed about electric car owners, when you're at the traffic lights, they cannot resist. Accelerating away, just to show you how fast it can accelerate. It's because they go like the shit, Yeah, it's quite pathetic, really. You can't pull off normally. You have to like uh, go off like this, sort of uh, in the Formula One car, just to show you. A friend of mine had like a, a Jaguar. Right, one. It's a brand new part.
this has been a band to my life, this is. Yeah. A... Oh dear. I've changed that pot. Anyway, it doesn't yeah. make, make any difference to the wine putting the strings on, does it? I suppose not. But, uh... Uh, yeah, a friend of mine had a Jaguar, like uh, like SUV, you know, four-wheel drive thing. Probably about three, probably a couple of years ago. Went Wait, the only way I can change that pot now, yeah. I've got to take everything off. Yeah. And that plate's got to come out because it's screwed yeah, yeah, onto yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole thing's got to come apart again. Yeah. It's a bloody nuisance. Yeah, yeah. Only this car, it weighed two ton. I don't um, weigh two ton. Yeah. And we went out of the road, so... You know, put your foot down, it's acceleration, literally, my head was being forced back into the seat. Wow, it was unbelievable. Unbelievable acceleration. Got like bloody 19 inch wheels on it. What's that? So a friend of mine, had, he started having electric cars as company cars, he's got his All own right. company. But he bought this Jaguar like SUV like yours. Yeah. Weighed two tonne and it was fast as hell. Alright. Is that electric? F, F space or something. Is that an electric car? Yeah, all electric. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the weight's on as batteries, don't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice car, but uh, I wouldn't bother. Well, it's worrying, isn't it, all this? It's uh, the battery life of batteries and stuff, and the cost of replacing them. I suppose it's the... Governments probably want people off the road, don't they, anyway? Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. Sat in the house or walking. Yeah. Dying. dying. I've no job, does it? Well, not for me. My last day is in uh, a week. Oh, uh, but Dave's been new owned uh, the Rupert Electronics. He always thought people with council houses shouldn't have cars. Who was that? Al Al Albert Pearson. Oh, you used to work for him? Yeah. I was a spares manager and he was an absolutely lovely bloke, but he thought that council house people should have to catch buses. Yeah, well, that's dreadful. I know. Is he a conservative? Probably. Well, well, well I don't know. I never asked him his, what he voted for. Give him a call now. He's dead. Ah, uh, well. Mm. He had a brand new Jensen from the, uh, he bought it from the uh, show. Well, like an Interceptor? It was, no, it wasn't like one, it was one. And a uh, beautiful car, and he, he gave it me for a fortnight while he was away. Oh, yeah. Asked me to just have it checked over with Ricky. And, uh, well, what was wrong with it? Nothing much, it just wanted a little light service. Eh? Uh -huh change of oil and stuff. Why didn't you take it back to Jensen? Because he lived in the council house. <laughs> he lived in the council house, yeah. <laughs> he, wanted, he wanted a cash job, he couldn't, couldn't afford the service. Yeah. He couldn't afford anything at the time, he was very well off. Jolly yeah. good. So bad, though. Yeah. Hey, look, I'll have a lot of money out of you, Ralph. What did he do after that? Did he sell it and then retire? Sold it to uh, Jimmy Swift, Swift Gardner. I don't know. Who sold it on Trump, tried that for a couple of years. Oh, yeah. What did he then do with his life? Uh, he had a nice life. He, you know, did all the things he wanted to do. He bought all, he got all the day home in the, up the, the north of Blackpool, is it, Clifton? Oh, uh, was he a heroin addict? And he, he went abroad lots. I think, really you, nice life, did I? I think you would have bought a house abroad with all that money. I think he probably had one. Uh, Blackpool. Well, I suppose years ago, Blackpool was probably quite nice, wasn't it? Cleveland, that's where it was, Cleveland. Uh, yeah, it was a nice house, yeah. On the sea front. Uh, Brought his son home in uh, Logrens. Oh, very nice. Yeah, loads of money. So, what, what did you think of the Jensen? Fantastic. It was a really, really good car. And I had nice cars myself at the time. I had a, a BM, a two and a half litre BMW, and I had a, a Jaguar. 
Really nice jag, I had two nice cars and uh, his, his Jensen was absolutely beautiful thing. <sighs> Jolly good. But there you go. Mm. And it was rather fast as well. Take it there were no speed cameras at that time? No. Yeah. There were no speed cameras. Mm. But you know it was a lovely car. Right, I've got to take all this apart now again. You know. Yeah, tell you what, well, I'll stop the video. I should stop the video because I'll just be effing and blinding all the way through. Well, I was going to stop it just on the effing L. But, um, oh yes, I like your little tanny there. Have to see it. Yes. Did you make that? No, I bought it, but it broke straight away. Oh, yeah. Well, it's fixed now anyway, so. Nice, you going? Bloody hell. Don't leave me. Don't leave me with him. He's only going because you're here. Oh yeah, cheers. See you, Dave. See you, Dave. Fuck off. Oh dear. This is a bloody nuisance, this is. The workshop's not a barrel of laughs today for this video. No, it isn't. The, the, your fans are leaving in droves. Yeah. You've lost it. I would have thought you would use uh, like a socket thing. Use my fingers, I've only got to just yeah. smack them in. Right then, uh, this is made for the job anyway. Is it really? Mm. Who's this guitar? Eh? Who is this, this guitar? I don't Do I know, know him? F forgotten. Yeah. Nice chap. Excellent. Uh, Chris. Mm. Does he play? Does he play in a band or is he just a home? I didn't player? ask him. <sighs> hmm. Right then, Doug. For some reason, it starts again now. The video just stopped for some okay. reason. So let's just say goodbye, and then we'll have a nice private chat. We can have a private chat before we say goodbye if you want. No, I'll have a nice private chat about some of your problems, you know, your issues, you know, those things. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so uh, say goodbye to the... Uh, viewer? Yeah. Sure. Oh, come on, Dr. Chill. You can do better than that. I don't want to do anything better than that. Tell everybody to fuck off. I'm really annoyed with this guitar. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'm fed up with taking it apart and fixing things there. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. were simple repairs, really. Yeah. It's a simple job wiring at Les Paul up normally, wasn't it? Yeah. Came with that wiring loom, and then it, uh, it had an it earth fault, so everything was going to ground and then wiring it up. Yeah. So it, nothing would work, mm. and they couldn't find it for ages. And it was a piece of solder blobbed down. Yeah. Put... Not my and not my piece of solder blobbed down. I might add. She put his old one back on, and he'll say it's never sounded better. Thanks. Right then, here we go. I'm going to do an artistic zoom out, watch this. Alright.